When Fantasy Island announced it was shutting down, it meant the end of a long-standing Western New York tradition filled with decades of memories for countless families. And so many of you shared your fond memories of the Wild West shootout with us. Our Pete Gallivan brought some of the performers who helped make those memories in Western Town together for one last showdown. You know, if you grew up here, part of your childhood more than likely involved Fantasy Island. And the highlight of every kid's trip to Fantasy Island was the Old West show. We got a call from some of the performers through the years. They said they wanted to tell their part of the story now that the park has announced it's closing. And this is what happened. It turned into an all-out reunion. You are now traveling backwards through time. Back to the time of the Old West. <laughs> Eight cast members from through the decades gathered in our conference room to reminisce. And repeat after me, everybody say aye. Aye. Say your name. Say your, your name. name. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Share some tears and some hugs, and even roughhouse a bit for old time's sake. And of course, talk about what Western Town and the park meant to them. The kids, I mean, it, it's really what it comes down to. Hold it right there. Nobody move. I got you covered. <laughs> What did that mean to you? It meant everything. Linda Harl Mold played Calamity Jane from 1965 to 1973. It was all about love. It was all about caring for the kids that came in and putting them first. And Glenn Kane worked Western Town for three years and took the sentiment of love to a whole new level. On a personal note, it meant finding my wife. Mm. I actually oh, wow. got engaged in Western Town. Yeah, he took the plunge. It was just fun, you know, for me it was like playing cowboys, you know, every every day and, and getting paid for it. Fantasy Island was a first time employment for a lot of people in western New York. I'm throwing myself off a one and a half story building. Sure, why not? Yeah. That's because I saw them and I said I want to do that when I grow up and I got to do it. And for those reasons and many more, for these former employees, losing the park is like losing a family member kind of leaves a hole in your heart a bit. I can't imagine Western New York without Fantasy Island. It's, it started as a dream, and it's a shame to wake up from that and find it not there. It's just a, it's a tragic loss, but we'll live fondly in our memories. Really, what more needs to be said? Pete Gallivan, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Pete. We heard from so many people. That's the number one thing that people really remember most. That was their favorite thing. Oh, sure. I mean, if you grew up, everybody went to Fantasy Island. <laughs> and, the, and the commercials. Fun! Wow! wow. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a cowboy? I know, I know. I know some of those faces in there. Kind of fun to see them again. It was great for them to come in. We appreciate that. Cool.